Hey BeatStars family, it's Jamil. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Blaze Pro Player and embed it onto your website as a BeatStore. In this video you'll learn how to create a Blaze Pro Player, how to customize your player, and how to embed it onto your website to start making sales. Alright, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is hover over the My Media tab and select Players. To create a new HTML player, you'll need to press this plus button here and select Blaze Pro. You may need to log into your Blaze player again once you're on this page to start customizing. If you hit the customize button, you'll see we have a ton of options to make this Blaze player your own. First up, we can change the font of the text on the player. Now we can set a logo for this player. This can either be text, or we can attach an image, and you'll see that in the top left corner of the player here. Now you can set the colors of the top and bottom bars, and the search bar as well. Next up is the main background and mobile background sections. For these, you can either set an image, or you can just choose a color for the backgrounds. All you need to do to use an image is drag and drop here into this section. Here you can choose the size of your featured track and the color of it. Here you can decide if you want any related YouTube videos to load for your tracks. And right underneath that you can choose if you want autoplay on. Then you have your audio visualizer colors, which is this section here that moves while your track is playing. Now you can set your primary button colors. This area here is for main text, and these ones here are for the hover over colors. And lastly, we have layout colors, where we can set the colors of licenses. After you make changes, make sure you hit publish now. Now we're going to go over the settings. This is where you can change the name of your player, whether you want it to have a fixed width or be fluid, and choose the width and height in pixels. You may want to change these settings depending on the layout of your website you're embedding the player into. But these default settings will work for many formats. So we recommend embedding it with these default settings first, and adjusting afterwards to get the desired final look on your website. This is where we would choose the tracklist that's attached to your Blaze player. By default, it'll use your default tracklist, which is just every track you have uploaded into your BeatStars account. If you want to feature a specific list of songs for your Blaze player, you can visit the tracklist section in your account and create a new custom tracklist. Once you've saved that tracklist, or if you already have one created, they'll appear here for you to choose from. And this is where you can set your Google Analytics account or Pixel ID to track data. But you can also see sales, streams, and more data within your BeatStars account as well. The last step within this section is to grab the embed code. Before doing that, I just want to point out that BeatStars does provide you with this direct URL for your Blaze player if you need to use that. You can send customers this link and they'll be able to use the player that way as well. To paste your player into your website, you'll need to copy this embed code. Then you can visit the HTML editor of your website. I'm using Wix in this example, but this will work with Squarespace, WordPress, or even a website that you coded yourself. I'm just going to paste it into this section here that accepts HTML. And there it is. I'll publish these changes now, and let's check out my website. Okay, looks perfect. Now we have a complete beat store that accepts payments on our custom website. Thank you for watching this video, and remember to subscribe to BeatStars so you never miss out on any new content.